Hey guys, this is Phil. So today during a guitar lesson, I had this really cool idea. And these ideas kind of just hit in the middle of the lesson. And I'm going to start documenting those. So I call this social distancing fingers. Uh, this is a beginning guitar lesson for guys that are just starting out. Guys and girls that are just starting out. Okay, so during my guitar lesson today, one of my students was playing just the first three notes that we learn how to read on the E string, E, F, and then they made a jump like that. And I was like, no, 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 no. You got to keep your fingers one finger per fret. And then I thought of like this, because I always said that, imagine this is one yard, this is another yard. So the kids stay in their own, their own yard. And I was like, whoa. That's it, it's their social distancing. This kid stays in this yard, the first fret. This kid stays there, there, and there. And that's the four finger exercise. And anyone who's ever taken a lesson with me knows that I always start with the four finger exercise. And then the guys shift up. And they go backwards. This is just to get equal use out of all the fingers that over and over again. See, the thing about playing the guitar is if you leave a student to their own devices, they're not going to use their pinky because you think the pinky is, it's, it's a subconscious actually. The pinky is weaker than the other fingers, so they wind up being like a three finger player. I see a lot of students that are not trained do that. So I say, keep the kids in their own yard. We are social distancing. I know it's cheesy, but it's memorable. That's all that matters. So when you're playing this etude, you're gonna have the F here and then the G here. You don't wanna use your middle finger, that's gonna shift you into second position. You don't wanna use your pinky, that's absolutely useless because then you go into like the zero position kind of thing. I always emphasize the four finger exercise because it's what I call a meta scale. All the notes in first position if you look at that, and I do a G major scale. It's the same thing, but with less notes. Here's an F major scale. Right? All scales in this position should be one finger per fret. That's really important when you're learning the guitar. All right, so feel free to use that social distancing thing. Now I'm gonna switch to bass because it's actually different. You don't always do one finger per fret on bass, so hold up for that. Okay, so here I am with my bass. Now you can play, if you have large enough hands, one finger per fret. But you see that, and I have pretty big hands. I'm absolutely stretching out to my max. Now, Jocko Pastorius was one of those one finger per fret players. So if you're pulling off those like hot little Donna Lee things, let me see if I can get into a good angle here. You know, of course you have to go one finger per fret. But lots of times you want to do this. This is the, what's called the Samandal method. So these guys are not social distancing. They, they, they live together, let's say. And you'll do index finger here, middle finger, and ring pinky combo right here. These guys are, um, I don't know, they're not so afraid of the coronavirus. So, what's going on right there, the reason why we do that, that's from the Samandal method from double bass, where you try to equalize the distance between the index in the middle and the middle and the ring pinky right there. So what's going on here is the ring finger is hampered because there are tendons that bind that finger to the pinky and the middle. Anyone who plays piano knows the hardest finger to control is the ring, okay? It doesn't have much independence. So since you have a small and weak pinky and a ring finger that doesn't have good control, you combine forces to get that going. So as opposed to the four finger position, one finger per fret, what you do is what I call the banana bunch. Within three frets, four fingers. Lots of grooves are done that way. So on bass, bass and guitar are not exactly the same. On the guitar, you pretty much want to be one finger per fret. 
on bass, you want to be able to do one finger per fret for scales, but a lot of your grooves and your feels are going to be done in banana bunch. So remember, that's one of the important differences between the guitar and the bass. Okay, so that's social distancing fingers for the guitar. I don't know if it's going to be a thing. Uh, if it's helpful to you as a guitar instructor, go ahead and use it. Um, I'll bill you later. So stay tuned for more like nerdy, lame things that pop into my head during a lesson. And I'll try to share those with you guys. Hope it was helpful. Uh, like and subscribe. Why not? Thanks. Take care.